Hi, I'm Doug Dahl with Pax Gallery. Recently somebody asked me if it's possible to mount a fine art print in the style of a stretch canvas. And yes, yes it is, which you probably figured out from the title of this video. And I'm going to show you how to do it. But before we do that, I'd like to talk about a couple of reasons why you might want to do it or you might not want to. First of all, the reasons why you wouldn't want to do this. The reason we frame prints is because it protects the image. And when you have a fine art limited edition print, it's something you may want to protect. Uh, the glass keeps dust and oils off of your print, and the frame protects it from damage if it falls. However, it's your print, and you get to do what you want with it. And it is a fine art print with value, but it's not like you're hanging a Picasso next to your dartboard in the rec room. So if you like the style of a stretched canvas, and you're okay with understanding that your print may not last the full hundred years if you mount it on a board instead of in a frame, then I'd say go for it and enjoy it the way you want it to be. So here's how you do it. We're going to start with a, uh, a print by Nintendi and a piece of plywood. The plywood is, I'm using three quarter inch, you could use five eighths or a half inch if you wanted. And use a good quality finished grade plywood, sand it smooth, cut it so that it's the same size or slightly smaller than the image on your print. And on the back, drill a hole that you can hang it on. Make sure you don't drill it all the way through. Leave a little wood to protect just in case you have too long a nail so you don't puncture through your print. And then sand all the edges just a little bit so they're not too sharp, so they won't damage your print. Next, you want to take your print and fold the edges where the edge of the print meets the white paper. Fold those back so that you have a, a nice straight line and use Use some surface that is nice and crisp to do that. I'm just going to use the edge of the board that I've uh, cut for this. Once you've got your edges folded over, lay your print face down on the table. Set your board into it. And fold your corners over, kind of like you're wrapping a present. So you can see this print has about a half an inch of white extending beyond the printed image. The prints come shipped typically with a one inch border. I've trimmed it back so that I can wrap the, the, uh, the print this way. And you could leave all the paper and wrap the paper all the way around the back of the board, but it's a little easier to have it have the paper narrower than the thickness of the board and use the tape to wrap it around. So I'm going to set the board on here, fold everything into place, and then I'm using a white artist tape, which looks a lot like masking tape except for whiter and it's acid free. Anytime you introduce uh, substances with acids in the paper, it can cause yellowing in your print. So, so I'm going to start just beyond the corner here. And by laying the tape flat on the table like this, I can uh, make sure I'm consistent in my wrapping height here. And there we go. We've got a print mounted on a board in the style of the canvas wrap. 